Hey everyone, and welcome back to a very, very long overdue Kabuki Mat Reviews. Today we're looking at Basic Series 2 Kane, which you guys voted for like ages ago. Uh, I just haven't had a time to really get to doing these, but uh, here it is. <laughs> Basic 2 Kane. Kane's head scan is pretty good on this figure. Um, I, I really don't think there's been a bad head scan since he's taken off his mask. Uh, even the Jax ones were really good. Uh, the first Jax head scan seemed to be similar to this one, but not as grimacing looking. Uh, he, he had a few screaming head scans, and uh, it's pretty cool to see this head scan with his face kind of scowling a little bit. It's a, it's a good head scan. Um, I am a little peeved that he does not have two different color eyes, which is a small, small complaint, but it's kind of part of his character, so I think he should have at least, you know, the white eye. Kane also sports his little patch of hair on the back of his head. Kane's torso is big and bulky, and you can tell it when you hold the figure. It's a very solid piece. Um, it may be a little bit too ripped. But it's definitely, uh, it's not like super duper muscular and out of proportion. It kind of does fit Kane. Um, his arms are pretty well proportioned. He comes with both elbow pads. This is about the most movement you're going to get with the elbow pads. Um, it doesn't hinder the elbow too much, but you can see there's going to be a little bit of hindering. Kane also comes with his famed one glove, and you can tell it's specifically molded for Kane. It is not a reissue uh, MMA glove from The Undertaker or anything like that. And on his left arm, he has the uh, wristband, kind of like you would get with an Undertaker figure that went with his gloves. body of Kane is really awesome. It is very big and bulky also. Kind of adds to the whole figure. The whole figure is just just massive feeling when you hold it. Um, it is kind of a shame that since since uh, we now finally get a Kane that's really in scale, uh, that we finally get him in this attire and he changes his attire. <laughs> so now we have to wait for another new updated attire. Um, overall, it, look, it has the same designs as Kane's tights. The only thing I really see wrong with it is they could have used some metallic black paint in some of the spots like his tights used to have. Um, it's all really just flat black, but uh, other than that, the tight designs are actually spot on. The boots fit Kane very well. He used to wear the, the big kick pads, and it's great to not see him not in the uh, boots that Jax used to give him all the time that were just terrible. Uh, the boots are very large, and they fit the figure very well. Kane is almost as tall as the Big Show, which may be a little out of scale, but you can tell he towers over Evan Bourne. You can stand him in a signature pose like he's fixing to make the turnbuckles explode.
or if you're a true Kane fan, you can make him do his ultimate pose. And no, I'm not talking about the Undertaker pose. I'm talking about the Kane or Rooney. Okay, I'm just kidding, seriously. Uh, we all try to forget that. Yeah. Alright guys, Kane is from Basic Series 2. He's 7 inches tall. He has 20 points of articulation, which is standard for basic figures. He's going to retail around $9.99, not $17.99, because that is obviously a typo right there. And uh, my final grade is going to be a 4.5 out of 5 because of the small complaints I had about his eye and his tights. But other than that, he's a great figure. Um, I was going to get SNK Jack to help me with this review, but we can never get around to it, so his grade will forever be a mystery. Tune in next time for my next review, and thanks for being so patient, guys.